Hello and welcome to the React Mega Tutorial. Today we are going to build something super cool. We are going to build something that you should definitely have. No matter if you are a student or a working professional or a designer or a developer or anything else, we are going to build something that is a necessity. We are going to build something that you should definitely, definitely have and it's going to help you a lot. We are going to build a portfolio website. There are endless benefits of having a portfolio website. It can help you build a brand. It can help you establish your authority. It can help you in so many ways. So we are going to build a super cool portfolio website completely from scratch, completely from ground zero. There will be no boilerplate code. We are going to together write each and every single line of code together. It's going to be so exciting. Before we go further, if you want to download these slides, you can go to this website, which is the leanprogrammer.com slash AAM slash five. You can download the slides and every material that I am going to show here through this website. Don't forget to check it out. Cool. So what are we going to learn today? We are going to learn react router and react portals, both of them something super important if you wish to be a react developer any prerequisites for this course yes i do expect you to have the basic knowledge of react if if in case you don't have the basic knowledge of react for example jsx state props and so on don't worry go to my youtube channel which is youtube.com slash the lean programmer and i have a lot of videos which can help you get the basic understanding of React.js. Just go to my YouTube channel, go to the playlist section and then check out any of the playlists. There are, there's a lot of information present in these playlists. Don't forget to check it out. It's going to be super awesome. Perfect. So let's see what are we going to build today. If you want to see a live demo along with me, you can go to this website, which is madhavbehel.tech slash portfolio. Let's open this. So this is what we are going to build today. We are going to build a portfolio website, which is going to have a home page. In the home page, after around two seconds, the user is also going to see a model. Through that model, you can show various important announcements that you wish to tell, tell your viewers. For example, this React Mega Tutorial is live and start the tutorial and so on. You can also ask your users to subscribe to your mailing list through this model and so on. Then we are also going to have an about me page, which is going to tell about you. So you can mention about yourself in this about me page. We are going to have a projects page as well. So just to tell you everything that we are going to build is going to be responsive. It's going to be looking good in every screen size. So that's the beauty. We are going to build everything from ground zero in this course. So this is how it's going to look on a mobile device. It will, it will also have a skills section. This is how it's going to look and this is how it's going to look on the mobile device. It's also going to have a contact me section where your, your viewers can get in touch with you through emails. All they need to do is mention their email ID and the message and then send an email and they will be able to send an email to you directly in your inbox. And this is going to be working, 100% working. So this is what we are going to build today. It's going to have a nav bar so that we can directly navigate between pages. It's also going to have a floating action button through which we can go to the home page directly. And all of this, trust me guys, we are not going to use any heavy library like Materialize or Bootstrap or React Bootstrap or anything like that. We are going to build everything from scratch in this tutorial. I hope you are super excited to learn all of this. Just a side note, if you want to help me scale my free initiatives and free tutorials, do support me. Your contribution will matter a lot. So if you want to contribute, if you want to support me, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash lean programmer. I repeat myself, buymeacoffee.com slash the lean programmer. So your small contribution can really help my free initiatives grow. So don't forget to contribute. So this is what we are going to build today. 
I hope you are super excited for this. I can't tell you how excited I am because this is going to be a real application, real portfolio website, a cool portfolio website which really looks good and it's fast as well. It's uh, not using any heavy framework or library like Bootstrap or Materialize. Everything you have seen here is just plain old CSS and HTML and JavaScript and React and, and so on. There's no such big, big libraries used in this project. So cool, let's have a look at what all and how are we going to learn today. So this is going to be the flow for this tutorial. This tutorial is divided into four sections. The first section is going to cover the design and architecture of this application. Although the design part is completely optional and you can skip a few videos to directly jump to the react architecture and the coding part but i would really really recommend you to watch the design section as well because i'm going to tell you what all phases do come in the design phase whenever we build any application although it's not 100 percent essential to see this application because this is a react tutorial and not a design tutorial but still i would recommend you to watch that particular video as well after that, we are going to start learning about React Router and then we are going to start creating our routes for our application. After that, we are going to learn about React Portals, which is again an advanced topic in React, which a lot of people face a lot of confusion in. And trust me, after seeing this tutorial, I don't think that you are going to face any confusion in using React Portals. And then finally, when we are going to learn the React portals and tutorials, we are going to implement the designs. By now, we would already have a, a, a sort of working app ready, but again, the designs won't be as per the designs but till the section three. And in the section four, we are going to write all that CSS and uh, animations and all those things uh, in this fourth section. So these are the four sections that we are going to see today. So let's end this video here. See you in the next video where we are going to start the first section which is understanding the wireframes and the app architecture. See you in the next video. Bye bye.